Uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at lesson number two, the edit command. And this is part of our MS-DOS basic series. So the edit command. Uh, edit command is one of the basic commands. It's an external command. Uh, there's over a hundred uh, external commands. And external commands are nothing more than just utilities that command com doesn't recognize internally. But we'll go ahead and try to execute uh, externally. Go ahead and take a look at the edit command. I'm going to move over here to our DOS window. This window. Now I'm going to go ahead and type edit, E-D-I-T. And we're inside of edit. Now, using edit, we can go ahead and take a look at some different uh, different files. Uh, you notice at the top here we have our uh, menu selection, file, edit, search, uh, view options. Uh, there's These are also hotkeys. I can go Alt key with the F. And I can select the menu. And then I can use my down arrows to go ahead and select. I'm going to go ahead and use the open here. And I'm going to open a file. The file I'm going to open is the autoexec.bat. A-U-T-O-E-X-E-C dot B-A-T. And open up this. I notice in the autoexec.bat we have uh, this information here. It says path c colon slash uh, c dos. Now the path is going to be very important to dos because without the path, uh, dos is not going to be able to search any of our subdirectories uh, for files. <coughs> It'll only be able to look at the root path. So let's get back to the uh, just the DOS. I'm going to go ahead and hit Alt F and X for exit. Now I'm going to type path at this point here. You can see path. We do have a path. Path is equal to C colon slash C colon DOS. That means that we probably have a directory. I'm going to type DIR and CLS. Type DIR. Notice we do have a DOS directory in here. So when command comes looking for files, it's first going to look to the root here. And we have one, two, three, four files in our root. If it doesn't find it here, it'll look to that DOS directory uh, because we have that path set. Now if I take path and I just type uh, C uh, colon slash, uh, my path has been changed now. Let me go ahead and type type in path one more time. You can see my path is only C colon. So if I try to look for a file inside of my uh, DOS directory, it's not going to be able to find it. So this time if I type edit, it's going to come back bad command or file name. It's not going to be able to find edit. I need to change my path to C colon DOS. Now it'll look both in the root and in DOS. So if I type edit, it finds the edit uh, command and goes goes ahead and runs edit. Uh, back to my uh, PowerPoint here. Uh, basic commands again. Uh, these are external commands. Edit. Uh, another example would be fdisk, uh, format, uh, delete tree or del tree. These are also external commands that we'll be covering in a later segment. Uh, for review, again, the edit commands. Well, this little edit utility is a very important utility for editing uh, such files as autoexec.bat and config.sys. Uh, These are two files that are used in booting DOS that we'll be covering in another segment. Uh, command com when it boots up, uh, looks for autoexec.bat as the last file to run. And you notice that we can set a path using autoexec.bat. We can also do some other things with autoexec that we'll, that we'll be covering. Uh, for activities, I want you to, uh, use edit, uh, to create an autoexec.bat file. And we'll be talking more about that. Also, the MS-DOS uh, Lab 2, I want you to go ahead and do that. I'm going to be covering some external commands in that. There's some questions at the end of it I want you to uh, answer and turn in. Also, there's going to be an MS-DOS uh, external uh, commands quiz. 
uh, they'll find that on an exam view. I want you to go ahead and do that. This will get you more familiar uh, with the, both the edit uh, command and some of the other commands. That's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Bye.